In tonight's top story, following a citywide mask mandate, some businesses in Minot are requiring people to wear masks. Others are still not. PJ Walker is live in Minot to explain. PJ. Nicholas and Lauren, as COVID-19 cases continue to rise, the mayor issued a policy requiring people to wear a mask within the city. I stopped by a couple of businesses to see how owners feel about it. I'm all for it. I'm really excited about it. Main Street Books owner Val Static made the decision to require masks in her business long before the citywide mandate, not only to protect her, but also her employees and family as well. I also have a husband at home who's, who's very immunocompromised and I want to get through the holiday season. It's been a rough year and so if I can keep my staff healthy, we're on a real small staff, myself healthy, keep my husband alive, anything I can do to help. And even though it has only been one day since the mandate took effect, she has noticed a huge difference in other businesses as well. And even though they're not enforcing it, it was the first day I went to the grocery store and I only saw one person without a mask on. So I think it's going to make a difference. Other businesses in the Magic City, like Margie's Art Glass Studio, say they won't require masks, but will leave it up to customers and they will still practice social distancing rules. I'm sure that there are some that won't. Uh, and if we see hot spots and in major events come out of those facilities, we're going to have to take a look at those other mandates on, on size of groups of people. Static says not everyone has been compliant, seeing her fair share of people making a big fuss. Sometimes you get people that come in and you say, we do require a mask and they just walk out again. But, you know, that's, that's okay. You got to do what you got to do. Although you can't be fined for not wearing a mask, the business can ask you to leave. If you don't, they could call the police and you could possibly be arrested and have to appear in court, something no one wants to see happen. Nicholas and Lauren, back to you. PJ, thank you very much for that update.